back, yo. How y'all doing? Welcome back to the show, the Zolian Podcast, where we talk about books, brains, blockchains, and everything in between the wild world, the internet. Today we're gonna talk about something that's uh, it's it's got a it's got a happy ending and a sad ending at the same time. Okay, uh, we have reached what I would call the zenith of the end of Marvel, uh, you know, uh, Marvel MCU, the MCU Cinematic Universe. Um, in the, it's been a long time coming. We already knew that eventually Chris Hemsworth was going to go um, his own way. He was going to go do his own thing. Uh, he was going to kind of, you know, take a step back and maybe just uh, be done with Thor. Um, now, this wasn't something that we said before as a definitive as far as like within a time limit. I've said maybe within five years he'll be done. I think that would be a safe bet. Um, but I didn't think it'd be this soon, to be honest with you. Um, I didn't think it'd be this soon just because the money's good and you know how it is these days, you know, security is more important than, um, you know, than most people's dreams. You know, most people, they kind of abandon their dreams or rather they, they temper their dreams. Um, and that's not a judgment on them. I'm not judging anybody for doing that. Um, I personally think it's up to every single person what they want to do again. I always advocate what? The shadow pill, which is the concept of doing your own thing, figuring out what works for you, living life by your means, okay? I can't tell you what to do or what to think or how to what to believe or how to believe it, right? Uh, I I can only give you ideas and tools to help you in your life, and the shadow path is the actual doing of that, right? Actually going down your own road and doing your own thing and, you know, becoming self-sovereign. I always say be self-sovereign, you know, be... You know, independent. Don't be dependent on some sort of collective unit, group, whatever. It's nice to have, but don't make it, you know, your uh, end, <laughs> end all, be all way of living. Because you will get rugged one day, okay? And uh, you will regret. Uh, <laughs> speaking from experience, no, uh, maybe. <laughs> don't hedge your bets on that. Hedge your bets on you. That's the number one thing. Because you can only control yourself. Um, anyways. Something that Chris is learning now, which is a lesson for all of us to learn, is to, uh, you know, zoom out. Zoom out. When you, you know, when you get into the minutia of things, it's good to zoom out once in a while and and ask yourself, is this what I want to do with my life? Is this what I want to, the kind of person I want to become? Is this what I want to be known for? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? Um, And so where I'm going with this is, uh, because we talk about work all the time and uh, how that affects the soul um, and that and again I'm a hard worker and I believe in hard work truly do but I also believe in doing something you actually believe in doing um, as well you know don't spend it all and what I mean by that is your life your time the things you can't get back the one the one thing you can't get back is time don't give it all away to a task a job a career you don't really believe in okay don't give it all away all right. Uh, there's a happy medium somewhere. You know, figure that out for yourself. Everyone has their own, uh, you know, limits of what that means. Now, that stated, you know, that that disclaimer put out there. You know, I just wanted to let you know that that that's what's happening right now with Chris Hemsworth. He's thinking, he's thinking. He's like, what's going on? What am I doing with my life? Um, and <laughs> it's really sad. But I'm glad it's. I'm glad he's doing it now instead of figuring it out when it's too late. Um, and so actor Chris Hemsworth, he announces his hiatus from acting um, and specifically Taika Waititi uh, movies. Um, so you know what that means. Thor is going to be on, <laughs> probably going to be on hiatus. We'll see. Um, actor Chris Hemsworth has, has decided to take a hiatus from acting. Recently, while filming a uh, Disney original Lim- uh, series, Limitless, um, it was discovered that he had a genetic predisposition to Alzheimer's disease. He told Vanity Fair in a recent interview, it really triggered something in me to want to take some time off. Uh, And since we finished the show, I've been completing the things I was already contracted to do. Uh, Now, when I finish this press tour for uh, this week, I'm going home and I'm going to have a good chunk of time off and just simplify. I like that. Be with the kids. Be with my wife. Good, good. That's important. Family is so important. 
the diagnosis comes from the existence of uh, the gene APQE4, and in his case, he has he had two copies, one from each of his parents. Oh, that's the worst. Oh, that's awful. Oh, man, he had one from each parent. Dang. Hopefully, he won't get it. 25% uh, of people carry a single copy of the gene, while only 2-3% to have two copies. Dang. Asked by outlet writer Anthony Brzezintikan if these... I, I just butchered that. I'm sorry. Uh, if these experiences focus on... Uh, if these experiences focus on longevity, change the way you plan your own future. To which the actor confirmed, 100%. That's that uh, R.I.P. the Thor movies. Uh, we'll talk about that in just a second. Uh, I'm at the point in my life, and this part I wanna I want you guys to pay attention to this part the most. I'm at just at the point in my life where I'm meeting with different directors, and people say, "Oh yeah, look, he's a mad genius. He's mad, but he's a genius, and he'll make great films." And I'm like, is this that? Is this uh, is that who I want to spend my days with? <laughs> Said the actor, taking an ostensible dig at OITT. Four months, five months of shooting, and then you got press and possible reshoots and so on. To this end, he informed the outlet that now, if something's going to pull me away from my family and my kids, it's got to be a positive, constructive, collaborative experience oh man he went home to be a family man oh man it's like the meme it's like the street fighter meme uh <laughs> this is not a hard diagnosis uh but it is definitely a cause of concern and has given the actor motivation to take better care of himself and look into some of the preventative steps oh smart man that's a smart thing to do hemsworth's grandfather has the illness and oh yeah that's so that's gonna okay that now we're getting to the the nitty gritty of how like he uh, he definitely is gonna take him scared, take this seriously. Hemsworth's grandfather has the illness, and having the two copies makes him eight to ten times more likely to develop it. Dang, bro, that's dark. Disney offered to omit the diagnosis from the series, but the Thor actor declined with the idea that seeing him go through it uh, might make others take better care of themselves. He went on to say, for me, the positive uh, of it was like, right, if I don't know this, if I didn't know this Alzheimer's information, I wouldn't have made the changes I made. I just, I was, I just wasn't aware of any of it. So now I feel thankful that I have in my arsenal, the, some of the tools to pre uh, best prepare myself and prevent things happening in that way. It's unclear just how long his hiatus will be, but Hemsworth has spoken recently about doing a fifth Thor film, which he'd say he'd uh, want to be last as a chance to complete the last as a chance to complete Thor story. Yeah, that sounds good. I'm actually, you know, I'm open to. I I I'd be willing to see a, a final Thor movie. Um, you know, assuming it's not YTT. If it was somebody else, I would definitely be interested. I'll give it a try. Um, however, Hemsworth w did recently say. He wouldn't want to work with any <laughs> mad genius director. <laughs> That's great timing. In a sweeping jab to Taika Waititi, Joshua from Geeks and Gamers. Uh, okay, has a story. Yep. Yeah, that's so funny. Um, man, I'm telling you, bros. Uh, I'm telling you, man. Look, again, I'm not trying to poo-poo on Waititi or anybody else who tells, like, comedy kind of stories, you know. That's fine. You know, tell a comedic story. I like a good com uh, a good comedy, um, but to be honest, that's kind of not what Thor was in general. Like as the character himself, like it just was never him to be like super. It's an epic, right? Thor is kind of an epic. It's kind of like Conan, but with a little bit more superhero-y, kind of mystical. You know, more um, more light and hope than than dark because Conan's very dark. So it's kind of like that. It's kind of got that, like, brutal violence, but also, you know, high action. That's more of a high fantasy kind of action versus uh, a low fantasy kind of action, right? Um, and to be honest, I feel bad for uh, Chris Hemsworth because he really didn't have that, that movie except for maybe the first one. The first one was more of a, um, you know, closer to what it's supposed to be, like the comics are supposed to be. Um, and we never really... 
we never really got to that point and it was always just bogged down by the modern day world stuff which i understand because a modern audience you know a high fantasy for a modern audience uh is gonna be a, a tougher sell unless you're gonna cut people out you know quote unquote cut people out it's gonna be not for them they're gonna self-select themselves out of that equation um and and disney just is so greedy they just you know yum 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 yum, yum you know delicioso that's what they do um and so they only see dollar signs and that's the problem with, with those movies which i've talked about the, the i did a thor review you guys can watch that one i'll put it in the description um i didn't hate it it was okay um you know it was better than dark world <laughs> that's for sure i didn't fall asleep like i did in dark world <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't dig at Dark World. I'm not trying to. This ain't this ain't the time and place. But yeah, man. The lesson here is again. You know, zoom out. Look at what's important to you. Family is always going to take priority. If you're a family person, if you're trying to develop a family, build a family, or you know, if you um, you know, if you love us, I'm assuming if you love your family, you would put them at a priority to some de to some degree. Um, and you know, less so all these movies, which again. You know, he's already living pretty well overall, I would say. I think he's doing pretty good for himself. Uh, he takes good care of himself on the physical side of things. Uh, mental side of things, I don't know. Uh, maybe this thing's taking a hit for him. I know that he was getting tired of getting typecasted when he was looking around for other movies. Um, you know, because <laughs> of Thor, it, it typecasted him because people were like, oh, he only does comedies. And he's like, no, I, I, I'm a serious actor. Uh, it's kind of funny how that works out. And, and again, that's that's just unfortunately the power, the quote unquote power and influence of Disney. That's how they do how they do things. They're so big and uh, influential that by the time you go somewhere else, you get typecasted based on your previous Disney work, um, and that sucks. Um, but anywho, again, guys, this is a great lesson. You know, it doesn't matter what your work is, it doesn't matter what you do for a living. You know, always zoom out every now and again. It helps you. I would say even program it into your life. You know, maybe make it once a week where you zoom out and you look at things and you say, okay, what do I want to do from here? Am I go? Am I getting my goals? And uh, you know, am I having enough time with my family? Are my relationships with my family falling apart or are they getting better? Right. And so you just kind of have to like really, you know, self reflect on your goals and don't let other people have plans for you you know because people are gonna give people are gonna push their plans on you if you don't have a plan for yourself someone will have a plan for you so always be on your mission always be on your on your on your life right your grind is your life that's how i look at it it's not just your your job or whatever that's an aftermath kind of thing that's kind of an afterthought thing you know a means to an end um family's the, the, the most number one important thing in my book um you know uh, just make sure you keep that in mind for yourself, whatever is important to you, and you just keep reflecting on that and make sure that other people aren't pulling in you into their world, into their frame, into their mission. Um, and then, uh, you you know, you grow up and you're like 67 or 89 or whatever years old and you're regretting all the years you wasted. You don't want to be that person, bitter and sad and angry of all the time wasted. You want to be able to look back and say, yeah, I lived a good life. Um, anyways, that's it from me. What do you guys think about that? Let me know in the comment section. Appreciate your time. Have a great day and you take care.